Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to be looking at action in movies, and specifically gesture as it pertains to drawing. So if you take a look at this character here, he's running, and that's a pose that you'd have trouble getting in a life drawing session, because he's off balance, you can really only get that in a snapshot of either film or a photography. But just like the other film studies videos, we're going to ignore the context. We're going to forget that this is a sci-fi movie and that the character's carrying a gun and just worry about the pose that he's in. Because if you look at a shot like this, this is just impossible to get in figure drawing. You're not going to run the model over with a car just to see how they look. But in a movie, it's easy to find poses like this. And these kind of action poses look great in illustrations. Another great thing to look for are groups of characters. The way these characters are all interacting with one guy trying to lunge at the other and the police officers holding him back, that's something you'd never get in a life drawing session. But in a movie, it's easy to find. It's also a nice opportunity to get different camera angles. It would be hard to get at this vantage point to a figure model, but once again, get a good action movie, you'll find plenty of it. So personally, I really like movie streaming services like Netflix because I'm always on the lookout for action movies, not to watch them for the story, but just to keep that snapshot ready because you never know when you're going to get some crazy pose like this that you can use in a future illustration. And finally, this is especially useful for fight scenes. You could get sports photography, maybe photos of boxing, but something about the extraordinary fights that happens in movies really can't be met in any real-world situation. But poses like these, which are extremely dramatic and exaggerated, work really well in the context of a drawing. So from a practical standpoint, remember not to take these too literally. So here is a character from a sci-fi movie. He's holding a machine gun. Okay, well if I abstract him down to a simple pose, he can be anything I want. For instance, right now he's sci-fi, but with a little bit of extra drawing, he becomes a knight. So just like the other film studies videos, it's important to try and distill one aspect at a time. Because I found that sometimes the best results in an illustration come when you're borrowing elements from somewhere else. Now this is different from plagiarism. I'm not simply making a reproduction of this movie still. I'm taking one aspect of it, and then using that to jumpstart my thinking process. Because if you were to erase this piece of reference and look at this night drawing, you may never know that the pose happened to come from a movie called Starship Troopers. And then I'll take the night and put him into a fantastic background with mountains and castles, and it is a totally different illustration. So either when you're watching movies for fun or gathering reference material, action sequences are a great place to find gesture. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun.